Good evening, fellow YouTube users. In case you don't know me, this is Daniel Monahan. Two weeks ago, my uh, celebrity crush, Katy Perry, has just turned 30. In honor of that momentous occasion, I will show you all my favorite things that involve Katy Perry. First up, is the movie that marked her d film debut, the 2011 live-action feature film version of the children's comic book series, the Smurfs. <laughs> this is my Blu-ray copy of the movie since I prefer high definition. The Smurfs are trapped in New York and they must find a way to Smurf a portal in order to return to their village with the help of the Winslow family. Next is the sequel to that movie, The Smurfs 2. Well, obviously. Anyway, in this one, Smurfette is kidnapped by Gargamel and Papa, Clumsy, Grouchy, and Vanity must enlist the help of the Winslows once again in order to jet off to Paris and hopefully save Smurfette and hopefully foil Gargamel's evil plan to destroy the village. The whole operation is called Total Smurfageddon. Oh dear. Now, this is a video game that marked Katy Perry's first and so far only voice acting role in a video game. It's the video game based on the movie, and this is my copy of it on my PS3. can't beat high definition. Okay, next up Katy Perry's music documentary, Part of Me. In this one you can learn all her secrets from her past. And present career. You can even find out how those mean greets work. Well, not really. But. It might be worth it. Now, onto my uh, Katy Perry merchandise. Now, as you can see behind me, I have a Katy Perry Prism poster. This is one. That is one of the souvenirs I got from when I was uh, at one of her Prismatic World Tour concerts at Verizon Center over four months ago. Those were some great times. Did I go by myself, you ask? No, I went with a friend from college. No. I don't know if... No, I know you can't see it, but on one of the bedroom walls, I have a Katy Perry documentary poster but that I got from Amazon.com some time ago. Did I get it at the movie premiere, you ask? No, I didn't. Something I wish I did, but I didn't. Okay, and finally, in one of my bedroom drawers, which I know you can't see, I have a Prismatic World Tour t-shirt, also one of my souvenirs from that night at Verizon Center.
Oh, well. And finally, of course, is some of her music on my iPod Touch. On that iPod Touch, I have three of her greatest hits. Firework off her second album, Teenage Dream. I believe it was, it was one of the uh, five songs on that album that hit number one on the Billboard charts. I could be wrong, but it, it might be one of them. Okay, another one. Wide Awake from that album's sequel, Teenage Dream, The Complete Confection. I uh, first heard it... Uh, I think I first heard it off from her uh, music documentary. Could be wrong. But I think that's where I first heard it from. And finally, Roar from her latest album, Prism. I may perform firework as a duet at uh, my uh, college talent show last semester, but the other two are what I consider to perform next year. Solo, trio, or band act. Well, I believe that's going to do it for this uh, video. Until next time, this is Daniel Monahan saying uh, Don't let Katy Perry down, and she'll never let you down either. Good night, everybody.